I'm going to be the number one tennis player in the league. I don't know, man. Raphael's number one. Hey, hey, you just stepped on my brand new shoes, bro. I'm so sorry, Raphael. I he had to go out of his way to step on those shoes, though, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Dad doesn't have a lot of money, so I can't buy new shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We Make your own money, money, then, yeah. pussy. No wonder he sucks at tennis, oh. all right? <laughs> Don't blame your dad. Just get a job, idiot. Out of my way, bum. Hey, 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 poor boy. Don't tell me that's your racket. Yeah. Why? Aren't they like the it same brand? The goodwill, dude. <laughs> bro, it looks like it's a hundred years old or something, bro. It's well, it's 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 actually the same brand. Hey, you know, hey. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> no. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. That is a bitch ass racket. Embarrassing. Let's start with practicing serves. Hey, coach. There was a problem with Roger's payment. What do you mean? His dad's check bounce. So he hasn't paid for any Whoa, wait, holy shit. So I don't know the lore, but I'm a, I'm gonna take a guess. This is this kid's brother, and he got him this role. These two look identical. I thought this was like a nutty professor situation where he was playing multiple characters, but I guess not. It's like a tiny Bin Shapiro. I can't be the only one that thinks these two look extremely similar, right? Just quit, you broke boy. <laughs> but it's kind of exactly what happened. He got fired from the tennis team because he couldn't pay two hundred dollars to play tennis. Hey, that's a scam. You're getting scammed. Thank you, and thank you man. I appreciate it, Gavis. Well, you think I became champion because I had nice equipment? And look where champion got you, Steve. You can't even pay for your son to play tennis at the after-school club. The <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is gonna make him want to quit tennis forever, Steve. Don't- No, don't show him. It clearly leads to nothing. Don't do it, Steve. Oh, God. Yeah. I was. I hate tennis now. Wow. It's about being willing to work hard enough. Yeah. That's the attitude of a loser. After hearing his dad's story, Roger gets excited about his dream again. He starts practicing every single day with his dad, working really hard to improve Oh, uh, good. So his unemployed dad is now spending every day time, not looking for a he job. Starts getting really Wonderful. Good. Roger, you're ruining everything. With his old gear, Roger now faces... That is a good t-shirt, though. Other than his gear may be old, but that t-shirt is fantastic. Oh, man. This one's coming down to the wire. Oh! Oh, Steve, he's so proud. That's right. The high school junior league champ. Let's go. So tell us, Claire, playing with some old shoes and an old tennis racket, go on to win a championship. Well, a wise man once told me, winning isn't about what you have. Thanks, Aiden. It's about how hard you're willing to work. Pretty bad interviewer. So tell me, how does someone as poor and homeless as you win a tennis championship? In fact, don't answer. You disgust me. Get away from me. They need to fire that lady. That was rude. Damn, Darman's popping off. You know, I don't think I've ever read the comments to a Darman video. Are there people that watch it, like, to learn lessons, I wonder? Yeah, it looks like it. Fair enough. Let me give sub at lol. Right here in your classroom. Just keep an eye out. Oh, I will, all right. I'll make sure we catch him. What the fuck, Darman? Good morning, class. I bet it's the teacher's drugs to begin Everyone with. Bring me your homework. I've been really busy the last couple days. Busy doing drugs. <laughs> what the fuck? Just have one more day to finish it. Gee, what? No. I'm giving you an F. All right, class. So the lesson here is don't have a racist teacher. Oh yeah, look, I, I didn't get much sleep last night. Mm -hmm. See, we're out partying. What? You come up here and solve this problem. Par partying? Though it is weird that he's wearing sunglasses in the classroom. Maybe he does have a hangover. Go ahead and remove your hood and your sunglasses. 
Is this gonna be like a daredevil thing where he got like blinded by acid? Your eyes are bright red. Oh, no. Wait, what? The past couple days I've gotten like no sleep. And, and what what happened was Oh, I, I was knew it was you. You're on drugs. That makes sense, Gato. I, I could see that being like English lessons. I've never done drugs in my life. Oh, uh-huh. You're going to the principal's office. Adam? Uh, yes, Miss Karen. Come up here and solve the problem for the class. He can't. He's on drugs. Yeah, no problem at all. We found out that your son is on That's, drugs. That's a bit of an overstatement. You, you, you assumed based on no evidence. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Uh-oh. You see... Marcus and his father have always been close. Oh he boy. Asked him, wasn't the very best husband. That's possible vandalism. Oh no. He was seeing other women behind my back. Oh no. Because I didn't want Marcus to grow up without a father. So I never Damn. He <laughs> Get a load of this crazy person. Huh? This is weird, right? So you're 18 for sure though, right? So you see? Damn, she is crying a lot. Marcus Whoa. Hasn't slept it's like a million tears. Red. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, man. So about those drugs then? When did you two start taking drugs? Hmm? But it doesn't change the fact that we found drugs in the classroom. Well, there's like 18 other kids in the class. What? So she's, you just need to fire her. She's racist. Who were they, huh? Wait, who, who's he? Carmen San Diego? He doesn't know. What? Adam? He's not an investigator. Why are you asking him? That's your job. This must be a mistake. I caught him red-handed. What is he? What are those? Take him to the security office. Like this citrus pills? Let me go. Come. That's the message. The message is just ask instead of assuming. I mean, there's also the message of don't be racist. <laughs> like, you know, there's... Well, I mean, I guess that's part, part of the message in that one, I guess. I don't know. The acting is flawless. That's why I want to be a beauty influencer when I grow up. Oh, God. I've got the looks and the personality. <laughs> okay. It is crazy that people grow up wanting to be, like, influencers. So, that's wild. What a what a wild time! Oh my gosh! Holy so shit! Sorry, Avery. Nice job, pepperoni face. <laughs> pepperoni face. All right, settle down. Well, now that was a bit uncalled for. When I grow up, I actually also want to be a beauty influencer, so that I can wait. What? <laughs> you want? You don't even have a tiara on. Where's your yeah, crown? It falls all over your. I want to show people that it's your imperfections that make you beautiful. <laughs> what would you think know about two in game? Maybe you should just deliver pizzas, pepperoni face. <laughs> Ooh. Avery, that's enough. So embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you got her. Hey guys, it's Priscilla the Pimple Popper, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about moisturizing your skin. Look what we have here. Priscilla ladies. the Pimple it's Popper. Pizza face Priscilla recording a beauty that, tutorial. Well, that's not a good. Why would you? That's not really a good a good name. Torture. No, I'm saying I know Amori. I just haven't played it yet. Your face again. What? But why? Record this. Well, because you've got pizza all over Oh, your face. that's going viral. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Take that. Get pizza slapped. Easy 10 million views. Oh man, it's popping off on TikTok. I posted it on TikTok. Nice. It already has 7,000 views. Oh. Christ, the whole world's seen it. I can't. It's your imperfections that make you beautiful. That's outrageous. What do you mean? <gasps> I mean, your skin's not so perfect either. Uh oh, she spotted a weakness. She's going in. Now spit on her. Oh my god. 
Take away her crown. She stands there devastated. Find herself having a complete break. Holy shit. She can't believe what's happening. It's over. At school, she tries to hide it, but she can't. The whole class starts to make fun of her when they see her face. <laughs> you have a real problem with the, the students here. Avery Jesus Christ. So Besides, acne is totally normal. No, it's not. It's a curse. But I've Means your family's been cursed. Skin. It's your imperfections <gasps> that make you beautiful. Impossible. Exactly. You can also just edit the pictures. So like, sorry for we don't need to overthink things. Just edit this the pictures. Time. Thank you for helping me to see that I'm beautiful no matter what. Well, that was easy. Hey guys, it's Priscilla the Pimple Popper, and today I have oh, it's a still going. guest here with me. I thought this was like the epilogue. Hey, it's Avery the Acne Assassin. What are these names? Today we're here, we're here for another is... skincare tutorial. <sighs> Alright. But wait, aren't you missing something? I don't think so. She's gonna get pizza. Oh, I thought she was gonna slap her with pizza. <laughs> The ultimate revenge. You're too nice, Priscilla. I'm a little disappointed. I wish Starman would stop writing such nice characters. She should have been Priscilla the pizza popper and just blast her with pizza and then roll credits. Shame.